they have been mothers and daughters, fathers and sons. For years, no one has known what's happened to them. With delicate craftsmanship, the faces of cold cases are almost alive again. I've gotten to the point where I can look at a skull and see what they, it sort of looks like, and then I can kind of build from there. Like I can see sort of a pattern, say she's got this kind of mouth plus this nose equals this face. Joanna Hughes is a forensic artist. Her specialty is three-dimensional reconstruction. Her job is to put a face on those who seemingly don't have a past. So that leaves me. I'm the last resort. So law enforcement contacts me. They bring me the skull. I look at it, and then I can start building um, the face from there. Joanna officially began her career in 2002 with the only four-year degree in forensic art in the country. Around Christmas, I was contacted um, by a law enforcement agency in uh, Middle Tennessee. They had actually been out looking for a skull of another person and found this body, and uh, so they had two. Um, they had no idea who this person was. They had no clue, I mean, how to even start. Using a scientific profile, Joanna takes the skull of an unidentified person and reconstructs the face for law enforcement agencies across the country. Trying to figure out who this person is little by little, so, you know, like, and the mouth and the nose and you just get all these little pieces together. From her first case, as these little pieces come together for Joanna, unraveling the mystery of a larger puzzle hinges on her skills as an artist. Well, actually, my very first case that I got back in 2000, I think it was 2002, um, was actually two females found together, homicide um, in the woods in Virginia. It may have been two years later, I found out they identified the first one. And I can tell you that I was running around the halls, jumping up and down, saying, yay. And it turns out her sister identified her. And she did send me a picture, and yeah, it looked a lot like her, which is kind of strange. And then several years later, I was just looking around the internet, and the second lady was had been identified in 2006. So nobody calls me, but it's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. A good feeling like that is the reward for what can be something of a daunting occupation. These are people, and they probably have a bad story if they come to me. Um, they probably did not meet a nice end, maybe. I don't know. A lot of times I do know, and a lot of times it is bad, but um, I just can't think about it. So Joanna focuses on the science behind her craft. After studying the skull and its traits, Joanna places small markers to determine the depth of skin tissue. So the same point for everybody, and they're based on sex and ancestry, so that's the only difference. It's sort of like connect the dots. So then at that point, once I have all the markers on, I can actually start applying the clay. And uh, so you have to be sure that, that the clay follows the contour of the skull and what the, the tissue depth markers are telling you. Once the base layer of clay is on, the science supports the artistic side of the work, and Joanna is in her element. My husband always kids me because he says, oh, now you see the face, yay. You know, before you didn't see the face and you're unhappy. And then all of a sudden now you, you see it, so. When the face is completed, countless photos are taken from every angle. The sculpture is then dismantled, and everything is sent back to the law enforcement agency so they can distribute copies of the face to various communities. About half of the cases she's worked on have helped to identify a missing person and give rest to a grieving family. Joanna is passionate about her craft. Though she never gets personally involved in a case, she understands her place in giving life to a face that never had a chance to say goodbye. I think it's mainly excitement that you figured out who that person was and not think about anything else. You just want that person to have an identity and not be you know, forgotten about.